Hello, YouTubers. It's Melissa, the M of the M and H of Bespoke Hairstyles. I hope you're well. Today's been quite a busy um, day, and I just had uh, one of those um, is it epiphany, moments of epiphany, that I felt like I needed to share with you. And it's just food for thought. Um, it's a mixture of things, really. I've been thinking of perming a lot, not my hair, but the process of perming. And obviously, everybody has different reasons why they choose to perm their hair. Um, and for me, it just wasn't the right choice in terms of me, um, just on a day-to-day -day basis, having to um, go out with my hair. I just, perm was not an option for me. It is an option for other people, and I totally respect that. Um, but I've been thinking about perm a lot. And um, the fact that obviously it ch changes our curl pattern, which is, which, is, which is completely separate from my issue with it. Let me tell you what my main issue with it, discussing with a client um, today, and that's why I'm sharing this with you. My issue is, okay, I was, actually, when I was a little girl in Sierra Leone, one of the work jobs of, um, that most people would identify is we had to ground, um, I think it's Scotch bonnet it's called, we call it hot pepper. Um, and it's on a stone, on a flat stone, and then there's a little stone that you basically do the motion, right? And our mothers, everyone will tell you, our mothers tell us, do not gather the pepper, you know, like gather the pepper, don't touch the pepper. Whatever you do, use the knife or whatever, but don't touch the pepper. Everyone will tell you between the ages of maybe 8 and maybe 9, 10, our hands would suffer after doing that job. Um, grounding the pepper, naturally as kids, you don't think and you touch the pepper. And I remember my first experience of this, doing it and being very proud of myself, giving my mum the um, grounded, finely grounded pepper, and then later my hands began to burn. And everyone has that experience. Like fire. And my mother would be like, well, I told you, you shouldn't have touched it. So it makes me think about this. Our hands, our hands, we have open pores because the pepper went into my, under my skin and basically burned, right? So perm, I'm thinking perm. When perm is applied onto your hair, onto your head, it's applied with a glove because everyone is aware that obviously you have open pores and, um, that, that, and obviously it, it, it's dangerous for that chemical to seep into your skin. And yet, some of us choose, and we, we, we totally respect your choice, but it's for those who are transitioning, these messages, uh, because for those who feel that's it, this is their path, um, total respect, that's fine. But for you, who are transitioning, and you are between, like, what do I do, how do I manage my hair, um, just think about this. Do you want a cream to be applied onto your scalp, where you have an open pores and they use gloves to apply to your hair, to your scalp. I mean, they're not meant to touch your scalp, but the reality is gravity, it will come down. And if there's open pores in there, and when it goes into your bloodstream, it goes into your system, what happens to those creams that you can't even kind of, there's no way you can properly, properly, properly wash away that cream. The way it's done, the, the consistency of it shows you that it is never going to be easy to just rinse it off. No matter how many times you rinse it, it's in your hair. And that seeps through. And that is probably why um, certain people say when they, have re when they have the growth, the regrowth, that their regrowth comes out as perm, straight, because it's underneath the skin. So if you hear that noise, my kids are are chatting away and I'm trying to chat over them so that you can hear me. So yeah, that, that's the thing to think about is that it's under, it goes into your bloodstream and what happens? And I, I don't know whether there's any relation, because I'm not a scientist and I'm not um, a, 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 a medical profession, but I remember way back in the 80s, 90s, a lot of ladies were passing away and cancer was always mentioned. Is there a relation between that and um, perming? Because all the women I think of who passed away, who we lost in the 1890s, had at some point permed their hair for a long time. Is there a connection? I don't know. But anyway, I'm just putting it out there that um, if you're in transition, um, think about 
think about whether you want something applied to your scalp that somebody has to wear gloves to protect and that is very sensitive it's a very sensitive area when it goes into your bloodstream what happens to it now the government doesn't even invest in sickle cell that much they're not interested in sickle cell any illness that is linked with um, the black community does not really get funded and does not really get the attention so if you're waiting for the government to actually go ahead and kind of research is there a relationship between black women perming their hair and cancer it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen so it's just I'm putting it out there it's just another thing that's occurred to me I'm talking with clients about and I'm putting it out there that um, and if it's something that you're thinking and you're battling with um, I, I mean in the UK, I'm sure across, I'm sure uh, wherever you are, there is there, there's videos and there's so many um, so many options for you online to look at, including connecting with me, um, including said adding me on Facebook and connecting with me and, and, and asking tips on best way to look after your hair because what we're finding is all the heat is not good. Um, there's something you need, which is just patience. And the use of your hand and you can get so many ideas online about how to style your hair so women who are in transition thinking about it debating it there are options for you I'm just putting it out there think about it stay connected and um, thank you for watching this posting I think this is like serious face because this is like something that I've been thinking about for a while now and I just thought how do I put it out there so I'm just putting it out there as I'm chatting with my clients with friends something to think about is there a relationship between all the illnesses and us losing women and and um, sorry, i had to do that because somebody's going to walk into into the room and um the perms that we put in our hair nobody's going to really research it unless we start we fund it and research it and i don't know if that's going to happen so i'm just putting it out there thanks for watching this posting everyone take care of you stay connected bye Ah, well, Mono Safel SK.